Hi guys, this is Clinton D'Souza and I'm back with another edition of Sports Encounter with me Clinton D'Souza only on Goa 365. Today I'm in Panaji and I have something which is something very interesting to me. It's like I'm learning something for my safety and also I'm trying to showcase how safety is important and safety comes in sports as well. So now I am in Panaji where there is martial arts taekwondo practices happening right behind me which you can see wherein they are, they are going to teach me also some moves and some techniques for self defense and also in my day to day life. I have with me the head coach also the, that is Vincent who will explain to us what is martial arts, how he came about and how it is important for every boy and girl out there in society at last. Behind me I think you can clearly see the practices going on, the practices, the session that is going on. So let's see in brief and in, in a full half an hour episode of today where you will see what is Taekwondo or what is martial arts and how important it is for every one of us. Keep watching Goa 365. Okay, I have with me Vincent. So, Vincent, tell me, how did you come up, uh, uh, come out with this idea of Taekwondo? Uh, originally, first when I started my martial art, I started in 1987, not with Taekwondo, yet with Karate, okay. uh, which is Karate Budokan. That time, it was the Karate Budokan is one of the famous in India and Goa. So, I had started with Karate Budokan with a local instructor. So then, uh, till. Uh, yeah, yeah, 1990 I practiced this Karate Budokan and in 1993 we had joined to Taekwondo in somewhere in India, this Bombay. Mm -hmm. So then in uh, 1993 we got a black belt in Taekwondo. So after that I was started, started practicing only Taekwondo So and it is uh, one of the best martial art and most famous in all over the world. And it also you know official Olympic sport. So I continue with the Taekwondo, but uh, after some time this thing, it was not worth over here Taekwondo and it was oh, any other martial art. So I left uh, this Taekwondo and I went abroad on the ship. So when I went to the ship in US, I saw the in US the martial art was practicing in different way. So once I went from the ship, I went to Hawaii to check one school. So and there I saw the one Hakiro senior belt. Senior means they are 60s and above, and it was they were about six and seven degree, and they were practicing together. So then I then I taught myself what is the martial art is in India and especially in Goa and abroad is different way they are practicing because they are practicing as a fitness as a traditional and it is a good discipline. So then I started looking out for and checking some magazine about the Taekwondo and what is it between the Taekwondo and this. So then I started reading the magazine of Taekwondo in US. So in 2001, I found a grandmaster, which is the grandmaster Hill Choi of Taekwondo. It is a, he was the most famous in US okay. and all over the world. And he is the one who introduced uh, Taekwondo in India in 60s. He was a special uh, army combat instructor. So he introduced the Taekwondo in Indian military first in 1960s. So then I, I approached to him that I am so at this, so I asked him can I join for your organization. So he welcomed me in 2001 with his organization and I started learning from him. So from, the, from him I, I came to know Taekwondo is more different than what we are practicing in India and Goa and then what they are practicing in Western, especially the Korean master and, and the American this thing they are teaching in the US and all. So it was a more traditional and is not a Taekwondo is not only the Olympic sport, but a original the Taekwondo is a original is formed in Korean military and it is a very rough and hard martial art. So but the Olympic they created in the sports way, which is original the Taekwondo is founded or name was created in 1955. But in 1973, it was split and uh, it is formed by this two federation, which is uh, this uh, we, we call uh, ITF, International Taekwondo Federation, and WTF, World Taekwondo Federation. And so World Taekwondo Federation started focusing only on the sports way of Taekwondo. So it is, uh, then it is introduced in 1970s, this, uh, yeah, 1980, it is introduced to the Olympic Olympic is this thing Olympic committee and uh, 1988 it was uh, became it became as an official Olympic sport in Korean Olympic 
uh, when the Olympic held, held in Korea, Korea. in so Seoul. So then after that it's become the Olympic sport. So in my this thing we are practicing in both as a sport and as a traditional way. Because what happened in the sport, we lose the discipline and there is a less discipline in the sports way. And the sports way is uh, also like it is a very what I believe it is a very easy of teaching. Because you only have to tell the students and teach the students where you have to kick and where you get a point. So then, but in the traditional way or the self defense way, we have to explain the students how it's come for the self defense. We have to answer every question because what we are doing is giving the students opportunity to ask the question and we have to answer them. So it is a little tough way, but it is a good way that you get a respect from the students and the students also develop with the discipline because it is a very tough and we have to teach them how to defend themselves on the street, not only the sport fighting on the mat and all, because the sport fighting another way, the Olympic sport. Olympic sport is like, they have, we have to have a distance of fighting, not a body contact or this thing. It is a leg distance fighting. It is not a hand-to-hand -hand combat. And the Grandmaster, he chose, his system is like all four zones of fighting. Four zones in fighting is like kicking range, hand-to-hand -hand range, arm range, with the arm-to-arm -arm and the ground fighting. So we are in the Action International Martial Art. Grandmaster Hill Cho, his form is own system of Taekwondo, which is Action International Martial Art. So that's why I, I taught myself after some years. In, uh, I opened my classes. I used to take here before classes before I go abroad. So, but after working with him, uh, I, I did a lot of this practice with him, with his senior master, senior students, master, Grandmaster Philip Emerus. And uh, recently, two years back, I also practiced, personally trained with uh, Master Darcy, who is his European director, and he one of his European, most European, most senior student, who is teaching more traditional. But uh, sometimes the people only focus only on the sports, which is like what I believe is only, most of them, they're practicing only on the mat, and only on the sport way of uh, this thing, self, sport way of fighting, but not with the street self defense or some locking system, or some take down and throw down, how to avoid the breaking mm -hmm. and how to release from somebody, choke you. That is the most important because on the street, nobody yeah. will come with to Correct. you, attack exactly. with a distant fight Correct. or nobody will come and yeah. tell you that I want to fight, fight with, with you or this. Sport that is sport like, sport a, you know that somebody yeah. will be trying to fight with you. That is a, like arrange, you know somebody that mm. trying to attack you. But on the street, like you have to be aware or alert on the street every time. Mm. So that's what we have to teach it more. And it is very difficult for the students to pick up. Mm. So and But we, what we are trying our best, that's why it takes the years to train it in the martial art. Okay. So, but how was it difficult? Because in today's era, most of the children, especially in Goa, are more into football, cricket, or some indoor games, kind of, or, but martial arts or taekwondo, there are very few, and even if there is a number, which is, it is not very big compared to the other sport. So how was it difficult to get uh, these bunch of students for you? No, that, what is it, is depend upon the individual and the parents, because what happened, Martial art is not uh, originally sport. It is uh, created as a sport. Mm. And if you see it, it is a blood sport mm. because it is a uh, hitting, identify the person. So that what we are developing the students with the confidence, especially the small students. Small students, he cannot be the proper fighter yeah. because nobody, no, no attacker or smaller than will attack them. Correct. Always the biggest and bigger attacker will attack them. So at, they will develop with the confidence they can identify the person. But at least identifying or somebody grab them, they know to kick to the groin or poke their fingers on the eye. Okay. So that is the main this thing, how to release from that and then they know how to scream it. So okay. there will be somebody who will come to help them. Okay. Till date now, now how many years became your teaching the students and how many students do you have? Uh, is like that, I have uh, three branches. One is Panjim. One is Porvorim and one is Bicholim that my black belt is teaching there. Okay. So all together we are having over 100 students. Okay. And like that I was started teaching from last 30 years back. I have uh, over 30 years experience. But I started my over here from 2007 my own classes. Okay. But before we used to run with somebody else and this local instructor. So, so I started my own with a Panther Taekwondo from 2007. So now we are having over 100 students all over the Goa. 
was it difficult to come up and uh, bring out students out there? Yeah, it is always difficult, and uh, every this life is always the challenge. Mm. So it is on it. Mm. It is never been easy for not even not only for me, but uh, when I talked with my grandmaster or my other masters, grandmasters, I always take the suggestion from them. So I always call them. Nowadays, we it is very easy. We can message them on the Facebook and all. So I ask them uh, what I have to do because I, this is a tough time I'm facing. Mm. So it is, but uh, what I know from them, like even when they are the, as a junior instructor or junior belt, they also was having a tough time and everything we have to face. That's what we learn in the martial art, to face the difficulty and without difficulty we don't come right. up. So we have to face it. But only thing like is the difference between the, what I believe in Western, this and our India. We have a habit of pulling the each other legs. What yes. I believe is yes. that. Yes. Because what happened, what I learned from that, what I most uh, respect my grandmaster, uh, this thing, or um, this Action International Martial Art Organization, they always uh, instruct me like this, no, don't pull others leg and don't follow what I'm this. Yes. So what I am this thing, I know that somebody always they pull uh, each other's leg. But I don't go to them the this. So I go with my own way and that's what he taught me. Like do with your own way. You don't bother with others. So let them other this pull. Because what happened, the pulling the leg, like what I believe is when somebody pull your leg, either you fall down right. or both will fall down together. Correct. Correct. In warming up, some warming up is having the reason for we are doing warming up. For example, uh, turning the neck at the side, either side. So now what happens when we put the finger over here, put the finger over here and press it, it's touching to the windpipe. So even if it's somebody choke you over here like this, it stop your breathing. So when you turn the neck either side and press it hard, turn, no, turn, turn. So this vein is protecting your windpipe. So it is difficult to press the windpipe, choke the windpipe. So that is what are this. So as much as you turn more, this is the vein becoming more harder. So that is what we are doing. The this cell defense is the good advice for advantage for this warming up. Second thing, this over here bending over here. So when it's one hand choke over here like this, and if you press the neck harder, you cannot choke it too hard. So you can release the, this thing. So you avoid the, somebody choking your neck. Okay. So that is all this, the neck is important of this. Okay. So some warming, this thing, exercise is just for warming up. But it's, what happened in the difference between, if you see the gym, uh, if you, when you go to the gym, gym what happened is build up your body. But a martial art exercise is not build up your body, it's develop your body. So in martial art, we develop the body. We don't build up the body. So if we are doing the natural exercise, which uh, we do the natural move, natural push up and natural side sit up and all. So now we will come with the, the riding stance and other stance, which is develop the thighs and protect your knee joint. Okay. So what happened? No, no knee joint you can develop it. But all the joints, no, knee joint or the ankle joint, it mm. cannot be developed but it can be protect with the exercise. Okay. So that what with this, what we are doing the side sit up or mm. riding stance, we call in the martial art is a riding stance. So with that we develop the thighs to protect the knee joint. Okay. So that is what we come to know. What is the difference like in this, actually in the Yama system, which is actually in the natural, we are using the most uh, body force. Use okay. the shoulder to the hip from the foot. Okay. So from the foot, we move it, the hip, and the shoulder power goes out over here. Because this punch or the hitting, like it goes like this. Mm. So we are using the hip movement mm. and the shoulder. So your bo automatically your full body moves. moves yeah. So your full body workout. Because the whole system used to be like this only. Okay. So the difference is only we are moving at this. Yeah. So full body force. So this is now we are what we are doing in the traditional stance. Okay. So there is a traditional and the fighting stance we have it separate. Okay. 
Okay, so let's go with the trend. Then I'll explain you how it goes with the power. Okay. If I use the old system punch, it will be finishing only over here. Yeah. So it's not going to get an opponent, it's not going to get an impact. Okay. But we're standing with the same place and I punching, we're using with your hip and the natural body force, it goes like this over here. So without moving, it's rich there. Okay. Yeah. So it is the same with, uh, if I put the same, now this is a traditional stance. If we are this in the traditional stance, if I don't move my shoulder, it's not going to reach. If I move my shoulder, it's reaching there. So without moving, it's turning my body, so it's getting the more force, more power. So same now with the fighting system. Now this same thing, which is the forward stance, is a half of forward stance, has become the fighting stance. So fighting stance is a practical stance. So you cover yourself. The most important like on the street, somebody will first will attack you over here like this. Or somebody will catch you over here like this. So it is a first you cover your face and your ribs. So from here when you cover without moving, so it is not going to reach there. So without moving with the this. So we are using the hip and shifting the weight over here without moving. So it goes more in front. So that what we are using the this. So same like in the traditional, if you use the kick, it goes only here this. If we don't use the hip. So if the same kick, if you use the hip, So you are using the body force over here. Okay. So that is what uh, we are practicing. Okay. Practicing it. It's the same like on the front. So on the like so now street side defense or fighting this, the sport way or always the fight with the distance like this. Hmm. So no, on the street nobody will attack you like this. Yeah. So always somebody will come hmm. catching like this or they will push it like this. So that what we have to practice it like either somebody catch or somebody push. Okay. Push, push, push. Okay. So here. So now we know that somebody is trying to attack you all Sorry. this. So or somebody catch you like this. So now with this hand he was not going to do anything. Correct. So this hand is occupied. So that's why we cover the face okay. over here fighting side. If he use that hand, move. So over here. So from here I get this full inside part. Hmm. So I, the same time I covered my groin over here because when I go down, my legs moves over here to cover my groin. So face covered over here, hand. So from here I can use this hand over here or from here the front kick. Okay. If I get his hand, so I can throw his hand over here, this and over here. So I can throw him at the side over here. I can choke him over here this. If I ever to choke him, oh I can take it down to the spine and okay. so that is what a side defense is. Okay. So but a uh, sport way of taekwondo is just you bar you arrange the good attack. You go fight like this. Because there is no contact. Correct. So that is also a sport way. Hmm. Because it is an arranged fight Correct. with a point system. So when we are punching in the traditional way we turn the hand like this and we are when we are getting it inside we turn and bring it inside he is uh, having the reason why we do it so what happened when we are turning it out over here so we are throwing out the power over here so when we are taking a uh, in so it is just like this for the self defense over here we are releasing our hand from this grip so this is the one way of releasing the grip. So the second way, if it's too tight, if the opponent always is strong and good build up. Yeah. If it's too tight, from here, if somebody grab you over here, we have to go away from that hand. And always your reaction is like this. When somebody catch you, your reaction is like this. To come out from this. But if your reaction, this reaction is like this, yeah. If your reaction is like this, this grip will become more tight. Okay. So if your reaction again like reaction is like this, 
is the grip is tight. You have to relax it. Relax it. That's what the martial art is. Develop your mind and the body. If your mind is developed and if you're having the patience, the self-control, it is very important. Okay. So when somebody grabs you, you should not get have panic. Okay. So from here, you just turn your hand like this. Now, for example, if an opponent is too tough, very strong bodybuilder, big arm, big chest, big hand. So from here, catch hand. So you won't able to turn it like this. So what happens now when you want to turn it, so your fist has to come up. So your elbow go down. So if your opponent is tight, is strong, so you won't able to turn it like this. So the logic is that if you want to turn it, your elbow has to go down. So from here, you take your elbow down and come. So you don't have to use your force or power, only your technique, your mind. So from here, if it's tight, you go down, your elbow is down. So if he's not releasing it, so he will pull when you go like this. So his wrist will get a pain. So you push it like this and this. So that is the second way of this wrist, wrist grab release. The third, like if you are good, strong, you go like this, you catch it like this. If you press it over here. If you catch it over, grab it like this over here, the opponent will go down. Because he has to go down because the wrist again is pain. So from here you can use it. Okay. So, but the best way on the street, like to avoid the fighting, you just go in like this and walk over. <laughs> so that is what. Okay. So that is all this over here. So now kicking like like this over here. So wall kick from here. If I find. So you are blocking with this hand. Your shoulder move this side. So it gives the same position of your kicking over here like this. If you are good in kicking, you can kick to the chest over here, or if you are good athlete and if you are having good flexibility, it goes on the face. Mm. So, but best self defense is to kick on the lower part. Mm. Either you use the front kick over here, or round off kick, or in step kick over here to the knee over here. So, it's the same over here, if the grip is tight, you hold it over here. If a leg is straight, you stamp on the leg like this, you break the knee other here so if this leg come you hit it this side in a step or your foot pump so you break the knee for the girls if you're having the good shoes and all to defend yourself over here if they're having baby heels or pencil heel shoes you lift your hand over here you step your leg with the good heels on this foot over here because when you step on the foot it is very painful over here. Yeah. It, you get a pain. So it is like a good advantage. The girls also have, but sometimes they don't know to okay. use it. So that's what the martial art is developed for. Yeah. Technique is a very tough technique. What happened? Like, if it's this, some maybe it's, even I saw some of this. If somebody catch, you know, choke, choke. Somebody choke over here. Yeah. So like, if you catch that, catch that. This is not possible. Because if you somebody because it is grab tight, yeah. this might not going to work. What is what I said is you release your windpipe from choking over here. You fold the hand over here. This you use your knife hand or back face to the temple or knife hand over here to the neck. Yeah. Okay. So from here you push it. You forget about because the whole like <coughs> like this like this is not going to work. Yeah. Because as much as you move and this this will choke you tight over here this. Both the hand you cover yourself, mm. you hit the back fist or the knife hand over here. So from here either you kick to the knee mm. or side kick to the side mm. or if you are over here you are using the heel kick to the groin okay. over here. So this. It's the same like this when somebody grab you over here, it is difficult, it is not possible Correct. to open the grip over here like this. You cannot do anything when somebody catch your collar. Either you lose your shirt or you lose yourself so this you cannot release it this only you can do it over here so from here you hit it but the person if is far from here you go so you hit the elbow downward and this so from here you get the groin over here either you hit like this or you hit back way over in over here so all this over here. but to opening this it is a waste of time waste of energy 
is not going to work for the same level. Well, I believe, I think everyone has come across uh, what has happened and how important the moves are and how we can also defend ourselves not by using major kind of our body strength but using our mind and alertness. Well, on that note, today I sign off with this episode of Sports Encounter. I will be back with more interesting information with relates to sports and other issues. Until then, keep watching Sports Encounter with me, Clinton D'Souza and also Goa 365.